I'm sorry. That actually is a genuine laugh. I, I hit record and there's a countdown, three, two, one, before it starts recording. But I started to crack up around the two mark because I just started to think about what I'm going to read you. Okay. Um, Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. All right, let's start here. For those of you that don't know, I've actually had this YouTube channel for about 12 years, since 2006, but I've only started to put my face out there over the last year and a half or so, on a consistent basis like this. Um, and when you gain a little bit of a following like I have, my channel's certainly not huge by any stretch of the imagination, um, but as of shooting this video, we're closing in on 12,000 subscribers, which is really cool. So when you start to gain a little bit of a following, those of you who have a bigger channel than mine will certainly know what I'm talking about because you've come from this. And those of you who have a channel in and around mine, uh, in, 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 uh, size, I mean, you certainly will be able to relate. Um, now I have a Facebook page that coincides with this YouTube channel, facebook.com slash many things, Dave McRae, link in the description, shameless plug, I know. Um, and, uh, when I first created that page about a year or so ago, I would average maybe a, a message or two a day. Now I'm averaging honest to goodness about 35 to 40 messages a day. It's insane. So if you message me on there and I haven't gotten back to you, it's nothing personal. It's just, I get so many a day now that it's hard to keep up. I've actually contemplated on maybe removing the ability to, to message me because of how much I'm getting. Because in my mind, I'm thinking if I'm getting 35 to 40 a day with 12,000 subs, what is it going to be a year from now at like 24,000, right? If I'm at that, like, am I going to get like a hundred? It's just insane. So I'm thinking about it. It's nothing personal. I just have to be, you know, selective with who I get back to. Um, but I do my best to read everything. Just know that. And the vast majority of the message are positive. They're good, right? You know, they're, they're, uh, sometimes it's like, you know, dude, you know, I love your passion. Uh, you inspired me, you inspired me to do my own channel. I was feeling really down. I had a bad day and you know, you lifted my spirits. Like, I think that's awesome shit. I really do. I appreciate that. And, and it, it, it's awesome. Um, but of course with 12,000 subscribers, you're, you know, you're going to get people that don't like you. Right. And as I've always said, I'm not here to make people, I'm not here to make anybody like me. I'm just here to tell you what I think. And if you agree, that's great. And if you don't, that's okay too. I couldn't care less. Um, but the, <laughs> the vast majority of the messages are good, but the vast majority of the ones that are calling me out or that don't like me, or you know how it is for those of you that have a, you know, a following, um, they're fucking funny. Like I genuinely find them funny. I have pretty thick skin. Um, and it takes a lot to get under my skin. It takes a lot to, to, to irk me. Um, I just, it's just the way I am. I'm just, I think it's because I have a blunt sort of, you know, I'm confident in what I feel and how I think and you know, whatever. Right. So I, I, I know they're not supposed to be funny. They're supposed to piss me off, but I actually find them genuinely funny. And I've, I've accumulated quite a few of them now that I wanted to share. Uh, I, there's so many I could, but I are so many of them that I could share, but I wanted to share five of them with you because I think these are hilarious. Um, and anybody who has a bit of a following will probably, will probably be able to relate to this. Um, and maybe you've heard from these people too. Now I'm not going to call these people out. I'm going to remove their names because uh, I think that's fair. I'm not here to do that. Um, even though I could, but I just think it's funny. I want you to focus on what they're saying. So let's get to it. All right. Here is number one. And all of these messages, by the way, I've accumulated over the last like, uh, couple of weeks. All right. Number one, here we go. You don't know shit, yo. I listen to your long winded, boring explanations about why Halloween and horror is the way it is. And I can't fucking stand it. I can't fucking stand listening to you. You make no sense. I've seen Base children with red bonzacks make more sense than you. What the fuck are base children with red bonzacks? You repeat your fucking self over and over and over. I still don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I think you're full of jackass shit, man. You're so racist. It's unbelievable. You never talk about Jason and Freddy like you do Michael. Racist, man. Fuck you. <laughs> racist? It's racist because I don't talk about Freddy and Jason as much as I do Michael? Hey, there's a good reason why I don't talk about Freddy and Jason as much as I do Michael, because there's nothing going on with them right now, right? Halloween and Michael Myers is all the rage right now because we actually have a movie coming out in a month from now. Um, if the, if the Elm Street and Friday the 13th properties start to boil and start to brew and shit starts to happen with them, Bet your ass I'll be talking about those guys. Oh yeah, 100%. Racist? 
I think he needs to go back to school. Ah. All right, let's go to number two. Yo. So I just want, I, and by the way, this is not from the same person, even though they both had yo in there. Yo, so I just wanted to say that I like your shit, but I can't stand your attitude. You seem so full of yourself saying Halloween and shit does the rack out of the... <laughs> I don't even even know what the fuck this means. You seem so full of yourself saying Halloween and shit does the rack out of the cough. (laughs) What the fuck does that even mean? Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what the fuck, dude? Halloween is not the best... Halloween is not the best movie of all time, and you seem to think it's God's gift to women. (laughs) You seem to think it's God's gift to women. I seem to think it's God's gift to women. Oh, shit. I think it's time you cash in your your voice checks and stick to take out. Oh my god, I can't fucking take it. This is brilliant. This is just fucking... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't take it. Especially the part... Like, I was with you. I was with you up until you seem so full of yourself saying Halloween and shit does the rack out of the cough. And then I think Halloween is God's gift to women. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry this is this is this is this is this is the kid this is what i get this is genuinely what now again like 90 percent of the messages i get are, are are great but you know you, you get shit like this right oh my god that's priceless okay let's let's go on to the next one here all right let's see here all right, <sighs> dear Mr. McRae, fuck you, you Jewish shill. <laughs> I'm a, apparently I'm Jewish and I'm a shill. You're so wrong about Halloween, it pisses me off that you even have a YouTube channel. In order for Michael Myers and Halloween to be successful, more sequels need to be made. This is how you keep the heart of Michael pumping. This is what all fans want, for Michael to live on and on so our grandkids can watch new stores and new movies. (laughs) Obviously, he probably meant stories. He is supernatural. He will never die. You, on the other hand, are not supernatural. (laughs) Thank God you told me that, because this whole 39 years of my existence, I I thought I was. I thought I was, and you just you just set the record straight. I'm a little depressed about it, not being supernatural, but at least I fucking know now. Oh man! All right, let's go on to the next one here. A Jewish shill. Holy shit! Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Love it. Dear David, ooh, David, I like that. I have been watching your videos for quite some time, mostly your Halloween ones. You're such a pompous, arrogant, and egotistical prick who thinks you know Halloween. You don't. The funny thing is, you know very little for what you speak. Michelle Myers has always been a... Michelle Myers? (laughs) Maybe that's Michael's adoptive sister we never heard about. Anyway, Michelle Myers has always been a literal supernatural entity and force from the very first movie. Carpenter has always said this. Sure, the evil is encased in the body of a man, but he's not a man. John Carpenter always wanted you to know he was a spiritual force, an entity that is killing. Why would he leave it to your imagination? So you can spend the whole movie guessing? No! It's far scarier when you realize he is a possessed evil force, a demon. This was clear from the start. That is why he could never die, and no Halloween was always meant to live on. Buddy, you gotta use your punctuation. You gotta have commas in there because that that reads as no Halloween was always meant to live on. You mean, and no, comma, Halloween was always meant to live on. That is why they made more because evil never dies. So take your stupid attitude and go lick a curbside full of shit and trout set fed. Go lick a curbside full of shit and trout est fed. Troopist? (laughs) What the hell is this? (laughs) 
Okay. Um, to answer your question, uh, no, the original intent of Michael Myers, like I've been saying at nauseum on this channel, and well, ever since I've been 12 years old, was that uh, you were never supposed to know what he was. He was the absence of character, the absence of motive. Uh, he was a human, but he had that slight supernatural vibe, that edge thrown in, not only to make it far scarier for the characters on screen, but for the viewer as well. Uh, here's what John Carpenter had to say in 1999. I thought the idea was, eh, you know, I don't know about this, but... I needed a job, I wanted to be a director. So I added uh, the slight supernatural edge to this guy. You know, sure, he's a person who escapes from a mental institution. And he comes back to revisit his small town, but he can't be killed. And there's a certain feeling of, you know, maybe he is, a, is not quite a human being. But granted, that's 19 years ago, right? Okay, well, here's what he had to say last week. No, I took everything that I thought could be done right and put it into the movie. So the, the killer is anonymous. He's blank. He could be man, he could be supernatural, we don't know, and he's relentless. And he's everywhere in the dark and he's coming for you. That's what's uh, scary about it. So as you can see, not too much has changed, right? The original intent of that character was you were never supposed to know. It's far scarier. There's a great quote from John Carpenter, and I'm paraphrasing now, but he said something to the effect of, I had him walk like a man and not a monster to make him scary, right? It's far scarier psychologically when they look just like you and I, but something's off. Something's not there. It's almost as if there's this otherworldly thing about them. It's like, what the fuck, right? That's what made Michael Myers such an attractive character in the beginning. That's what made his character initially so attractive and why we're so drawn to it, the unknown, the mystique, and the mystery surrounding him. All right, and uh, I save arguably the best for last, but uh, I don't know, that, that other one that I just broke down on, I think I laughed more, I think I laughed more now than I did when I uh, first read it. But anyway, here's the last one for today. Maybe I'll make this like an ongoing thing where I, I read uh, hate mail. That would be fun. Um, okay, here we go. I have never in my life written to someone on YouTube, but I had to with you. You are so goddamn pretentious and fake, it's unbelievable. You said you went to the world premiere of Halloween? Prove it! I don't believe your sorry ass. You're nothing more than jam toast that fell over Sid on Game of Thra Thorns? On Game of Thorns? Okay, I, what is, I don't even know what that means. Wanna know why? Yes, please, I do. Because it's pow shit, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. I watched your stupid video and all I saw was you walking into a theater surrounded by industry lame tards and fuckheads. How do I know you actually watched it? Where is you watching the movie? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> exactly. That is why you won't give us your review. Because you never watched it. <laughs> Bullshit liar. You're nothing but clickbait and misinformation. You probably snuck in or begged for a ticket while weeping on steroids just like The Flash and Captain Marvel who don't like Halloween anyway. <laughs> Uh, I think because I'm reading them to you, and I'm doing this video, I'm laughing more now than I did when I first read them, because I, I know that I can only imagine what you guys are going to think of this, so I'm just, I think it's so funny. Oh my god. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like, there's, I, these are the kind of messages I get. And every now and then I get one that's just like, fuck you, you know, or, or you're a piece of shit, or I fucking, you know, things like that. But sometimes you get, like, lengthy ones like this, and you understand what they're saying. Like you get, okay, you don't like me. You don't like my personality or you don't like this or whatever. But then there's like, there's, there's things that are woven in there. And you're like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like genuinely, I have no idea what the fuck that means. If any of you watching right now knows what any of them are talking about, please comment below and let me know on that shit that makes no sense to me. Because um, if it makes no sense to me, it probably makes no sense to you. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I'm sure that's what he meant was Thrones. Um, I don't watch it. Is there a Sid on Game of Thrones? I have no idea. Is Does he something with the pow or something? Like pow shit, man? Or I don't even know. I have no idea what the fuck this means. So um, 
Anyways, yeah, that's gonna conclude this video. I thought I'd just have some fun and uh, comment below and let me know if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like me to make this uh, a semi-regular thing. I don't wanna do it all the time, but you know, maybe once in a while um, I'll compile some together that are some of the funniest messages I get. Um, and maybe I'll, uh, I'll share them with you because some of them are fucking just, they're, they're, it's gold. It's gold. It's gold, Jerry. It's gold. It is. It's gold. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah. So anyways, my name is Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting here. If you want to help support the channel each and every month via Patreon and get in on some Patreon goodies, that link is in the description as well. So, uh, yeah. In the meantime and in between time, I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you.